Some of the biggest advantages of building with shipping containers is the ability to easily transport and assemble several container modules within a short period of time to build a house. In this video, we bring to you a sustainable shipping container home that recycles all its domestic waste to produce biogas for cooking and it produces its own energy from solar and wind, built with a small budget of only $35,000. Stay tuned to find out more about these amazing off-grid and sustainable container home. Welcome back. If you are building a container house or you have a container rental, you can have your project featured on our YouTube channel absolutely free. Get in touch by contacting us on our website sheltermod.com. If you want to learn more on shipping container living, kindly subscribe. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up with your opinion in the comment section below and feel free to share this video. Without further ado, let's get started. Letius House was built by an architecture firm, Sustainable Lifestyle Lab, based in China. From the outset, the house is all about being sustainable and self-sufficient. The house is modular, has a roof garden, and even features a sophisticated waste management and water collection system. The house was also built as a demonstration house to help in the research of sustainable living by Tsinghua University of City Planning Institute. The house was built out of repurposed shipping containers. It is constructed out of six recycled 20-foot standard shipping containers. The containers are joined to create a maze of interconnected spaces. The containers were used with very little modifications as one of the conditions of the local building restrictions which required for very short construction period. The other restriction was that the house must be recyclable and self-sufficient. To fulfill all these conditions, the project adopted a modular approach using shipping containers. The entire house was prefabricated in a factory with the windows and doors also prefabricated and fitted at the factory. The containers were delivered on trucks and craned onto the foundations. The containers sit on concrete piers to elevate the modules away from moisture. It took only 30 minutes for each container to be assembled on site. Once all the modules were in place, waterproof rubber was installed in the joints between the containers so as to hold them together. Thereafter, the outdoor stairs and all the big glass doors were installed. The rest of the interior design was completed by the house owner to give the home some personality. The modules are grouped in two wings with the private side accommodating all the bedrooms and the more public side of the house for living functions. Containers at the front of the house are projecting forwards to enclose a courtyard at the front of the house. The courtyard is bound by a porous wall made from stained timber to hold some potted plants for privacy and to protect the courtyard from prevailing winds. The wooden structure also provides additional surface area for more planting and it also acts as a protective barrier to indicate the beginning of the house. From the courtyard, the entrance glass door opens into a big entrance lobby. The house is well lit with big glass windows in every habitable space. 
Each of the containers is used to create one of the spaces in the house, including a kitchen, a living area, three bedrooms, a bathroom, a storage room, and an exhibition space. The house accommodates three bedrooms, a study, and an outdoor space on one side. There is a multifunction exhibition space in the middle and a kitchen, a living room, and a big bathroom on the opposite side of the house. There is plenty of outdoor space on the ground floor level and the entire roof of the house is a big outdoor deck with a big roof garden and outdoor seating space. From inside, the house looks packed and utilizes every inch of space available. The color palette for the house is white and light throughout with wooden cabinetry and wooden shelves in selected areas to add some character and warmth to the house. The house has a modern floor finish throughout. The bathroom is a big space with a glass shower cubicle, a custom wash hand basin, and a dual flush toilet. The bathroom also houses the water treatment system. Each room is fitted with big glass windows for maximum daylighting and cross ventilation. The front courtyard is a nice outdoor space to sit and socialize as you soak in the morning sun or enjoy a warm evening sunset. There is greenery everywhere you look, both inside and out. The home also features a series of smart, eco-friendly technologies to keep it self-sufficient and of the grid. The home features an eco-cycle system designed for sewerage collection, sewerage treatment, and reuse of the filtered product. There is also a reclaimed water treatment system for the entire house. All kitchen waste is collected, treated, and reused as manure for the garden. The house also features a biogas digester, a solar energy system, a windmill for wind energy, and a rainwater collection system. A single flight staircase connects the rooftop terrace. The entire roof is one big garden used for organic farming, while also insulating the home from extreme temperature variations. From outside, the house looks more of a modular home than a shipping container house. The clean construction is visible throughout the exterior. The home has a clean white appearance with several planters for growing food hanging on the walls throughout the exterior. In summary, the house grows its own food, recycles all the waste water. All solids and kitchen waste produced by the house is fed into a biogas system to produce cooking gas. The house is therefore carbon neutral and it generates its own energy from solar and wind. With all these amazing features, the total cost of this house was approximately $35,000. That is including transportation and assembly on site. We love everything and the design concept behind this amazing project. Which part of this project appeals to you the most? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video as usual, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up 
or your opinion by posting in the comment section below and feel free to share this video. If you want to learn more about shipping container living, please subscribe and remember to click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. If you have a shipping container project or a container rental, you can have it featured on our YouTube channel absolutely free. Kindly get in touch on our website sheltermode.com or contact us at sheltermode on all social media pages. Without further ado, let's get started.